Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Escape Forever Free. It's this time of day that we do our alone time with God for one hour of in-depth Bible study and scripture and spiritual searching after truth and light. We are the Escape Forever Free family. Here we team together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Welcome. Let us pray. Father, we come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. Oh, the voice we hear calling and falling on our air. The sound of God discloses. The Son of God discloses. Father, we thank you for another morning that we can truly come to the garden with nothing between you and us. Empty us of self. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and feed us with the bread that we need just for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome again. We're going to start our devotional hour with our memory text. Our memory text for this week is Genesis 17 verse 7. And it says, And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Genesis 17 verse 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Genesis 17 verse 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Genesis 17 verse 7 And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. May God help us to truly remember and recall this scripture in times when he shall choose for glorifying his name and even to edify our own souls and that of others. In Jesus' name, amen. Our devotional reading is coming to us from Maranatha and this morning's devotional guide is entitled Virtue of Self-Forgetfulness. Virtue of Self-Forgetfulness. The key text supporting this morning's devotional is Gen Galatians 2 verse 20. It reads, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And thy life, which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith, by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Virtue of self-forgetfulness, the reading. By faith, Paul appropriated the grace, of, the grace of Christ, and this grace supplied the necessities of his soul. By faith, he received the heavenly gift and imparted it to souls longing for light. This is the experience we need. Pray for this faith. Strive for it. Believe that God will give it to you. There is a great work to be done in our world. This is no dreamland. Before us, we are living, before us are living realities. On every hand are to be seen the manifestations of of Satan's power. Let us cooperate with him who works to restore and uplift. And let us not forget that he who works for Christ, which is who works to restore and uplift, must recruit his strength at the source of all strength. Christians need power of thought, firmness of will, and knowledge that comes from the study 
of God's word. They cannot afford to fill their minds with trifles. Every day, they must be renewed in spiritual power. Learn of him who has said, quote, I am meek and lowly in heart, end of quote. Learning of him, you will find rest. Day by day, you will gain an experience in the things of God. Day by day, realize the greatness of his salvation and glory of a union with him. Constantly, you will learn better how to live Christ-like and constantly, you will grow more like the Savior. If we will die to self, if we will enlarge our idea of what Christ can be, be to us and what we can be to him if we will unite with one another in the bonds of christian fellowship then god will work through us with mighty power then we shall be sanctified through the truth we shall indeed be chosen by god and controlled by his spirit we Every day, rather, of life will be precious to us because we shall see in it an opportunity to use our entrusted gifts of the blessings for the blessings of others. We must forget self in loving service for others. We may not remember some act of kindness which we do but eternity remember some act of kindness which we do eternity will bring out in all its brightness every act done for the salvation of souls every word spoken for the comfort of god's children and these deeds done for christ's sake will be a part of our joy throughout all eternity. Amen. This morning we are reminded that we are called to live not as self-centered, but instead a selfless life. Christ is our only example. He is who we look to. Not only is our only example, not only is he our only example in a sense that we are so limited and maybe even doomed, but he's our perfect example. He lived that life that this morning we are reminded and called to live, called to live. That life is a self-sacrificing life. The scripture teaches us that Christ says, God says that those who come to us must deny self and take up his cross and follow him are you ready to take up this challenge it's not that we have much time so i hope that you're not going to delay i hope that you're not putting it off for tomorrow i hope that not, you're not thinking of what else you must fix because we know too well as saints who are falling often and getting back up that we can do nothing to fix or to save ourselves only through the strength and power of Jesus Christ and his faith in us and our determination to remain under the obedience of God can we live the conquering, victorious, selfless life that this morning's devotional call us to. Will you take on this virtue of self-forgetfulness? Consider it as we sing this meditational hymn. Look upon Jesus, sinless is he, while Father impute his life unto me, and my life of scarlet, my sin and woe, cover with his life, whiter than snow. Cover with his life, whiter than snow, fullness of his life.
then shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe cover with his life whiter than snow. I invite you this morning, forget self, look to Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning for reminding us that there is nothing in self that can save us. There is nothing in selfish living that can accomplish your work. And so this morning, all in the hearing of this prayer who will now agree to forget self, not by some magic wand, but by genuinely being broken before you, saying, God, please help me to forget self. And please take the place of self. I pray, therefore, if there's such a person in this listening, in the hearing of these words, that you'll grant them this gift of surrendering self, self and help them from this day forward, Father, to walk with you and to look upon Jesus, who is perfect, and will lead them all the way out of selfishness to self-sacrificial living and even to eternal life. Hear our prayers and answer with favor, we beg. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us. Please do not delay. Surrender to that self-sacrifice in life today. And please, God, in your walk, in your journey, he will be very, very happy to hand to you this virtue of self-forgetfulness. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Walk good, but above all, walk with God.